Welcome to Winning Secret TV. Don't give up pray until your situation changes. Every success in life calls for patience. With persistence and patience, virtually everything changes with time. Hence, the saying, change is constant and time changes all things. The only worry about self-allowed or unguided changes is that they could change for bad or good. And more often than not uncontrolled changes do not bring the desired outcome. That is why we cannot leave change for fate hoping that it turns out to be good. The Bible urged instead that we should influence or affect our desired changes through prayers. We should be agents in engineering the change. We would want through prayers and without prejudice to work, the only way we can achieve this is through prayers. Prayer changes things. Prayer programs things. Prayer facilitates things. In fact, there are no limits to what prayer can do. Provided we are praying according to the will of God. However, we must understand that every prophecy or promise of God requires patience and persistence in prayers to see the fulfillment. In Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3, talking about the need for patience and persistence in prayers, the Bible says for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak, and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So, never ever give up on that desire or vision in your mind. Because it is God that put it there. Even when it seems like it is not going to be possible again, never faint. Pursue it with prayer and faith. The Bible says, wait for it, that at the end it will show. The same goes for every contrary situation, never accept what you don't want in life. Change it, yes I say, change it with prayer. Prayer changes things and with prayer, you can change every unwanted situation. With persistence push in prayers, every situation can be changed. Someone says, that, push is the acronym for, pray until something happens. And I concur, continued prayer must bring out an outcome. The Bible says, even if it seems delayed, wait for it, that at the end it must come to pass. Basically, prayer is the key to changing the situation of things. It was with prayers that Joshua changed the duration of the stay of the sun. By causing the sun to stand still. As we see in Joshua chapter 10 verse 12. Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou, moon, in the valley of Ajalon. Here with prayer the natural phenomenon was altered. No science or engineering can do that. That goes to show prayer has been capable of what human Scientology cannot. It was with prayers also that Elijah stopped rains from falling. For about three and a half years. As we see in 1 Kings chapter 17 verse 1. And Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. Now if prayer can cease rain, is it that ugly occurrence in your family, career, business, etc. you think it cannot? Of course, it can, it is just that you haven't prayed enough. Intensify in prayers be persistent and that evil occurrence will cease. Moses through prayers made sure Israel defeated their enemies before he brought his hands down. Exodus chapter 17 verse 11 And it came to pass, when Moses held up his hand, that Israel prevailed, and when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. If prayer can give Israel victory over their enemies, who is that enemy before you if you can pray? We also saw how Jehoshaphat won a battle against the confederation of the children of the of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, without putting up a fight on singing. 2 Chronicles chapter 20 verse 3 And Jehoshaphat feared, and set himself to seek the Lord, and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. 2 Chronicles chapter 20 verse 17 to 22 
Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshipping the Lord. And the Levites, of the children of the Kohathites, and of the children of the Korites, stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on high. And they rose early in the morning, and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa, and as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established, believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord, and that should praise the beauty of holiness, as they went out before the army, and to say, Praise the Lord, for his mercy endureth for ever. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. Here we see how prayer earned the Israelites easy victory over their enemies. Victory by Songs No man ever goes to battle with the song. But Israelites did and returned victorious because of prayers. There is really no end to what prayers can do. So if you have yet to start praying about that situation that you desire to change, it is time you started. And if you have prayed and nothing seems to be happening or to have happened, don't give up, persevere in your prayer something must happen. Push pray until something happen. Job said in Job chapter 14 verse 14. If a man dies, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait, till my change come. Wait for your change. It must surely come. The panting time is different from the harvesting or reaping time. Keep panting by prayers. The time of your harvest is coming and it will surely come if you faint not. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Let's pray. Heavenly Father we thank you because you are always our anchor. Our only hope in difficult times. Help us never to relent in prayers for we know that with you all things become possible. Let me pray for you. Father in the name of Jesus. I pray for that man, that woman, that boy, that girl, watching this video. Let that contrary and undesirable situation in their life come to end now. Let that addition, slavery, delay, servitude, poverty, sickness, bad luck. Shame comes to an end in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. We want to give you another interesting video to watch next. Also, our team would appreciate it if you could like this video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends on social media. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Winning Secret TV, to not miss out on other exciting videos that we post practically every week. Click on any of the videos you will see on the screen carefully handpicked for you to enjoy at the end of this video. Also, you may leave your comment or prayer requests in the comment box and we shall respond to you accordingly. God bless you.